<laughs> Let's get it started. Uh, I do like doing that. This is uh, this is my favorite job I've ever had. It's actually the only job I've ever had that I've liked. Uh, I don't know if you've ever worked a job you paid it, but I worked like a bunch of them in a row. Like, I was a dishwasher once. Uh, I worked in a call center. When I was in high school, I was a janitor at my high school. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. I wasn't a good student, and they were like, well, maybe he can clean up afterwards. Let's try. It was like a reverse Goodwill hunting. They just put a mop in a corner, and I picked it up, and I was like, and they were like, oh, he's a natural. Let's give him keys to the school. He can do it. Let's Scott. Uh, this is great. I, I, uh, I grew up in the South. Anybody else? All right. Yeah, there are the racist. Uh, I'm kidding. I'm joking. Not you guys. They're down there if you want to see it. If you guys want to see somebody use the N-word at an Applebee's, I can point you to an Applebee's. There's also some up north if you want to go to Boston or Philly or somewhere. It's everywhere, it turns out. Right? All right. All the white people are uncomfortable now. Good. Let's talk about my body then. Uh, it's okay. I have an okay body. It's it's not. I'm tall. I can reach things. That's about it. I'm not like very fit. It's just my nose, my belly, my dick all line up flush, and that's that's how that's how I determine whether I need to work out or not. So belly's too far out. Oh, let's bring it back in. I know that's not how you determine your health. Like I'm never gonna go to a doctor's office and I'll be like, okay, take off your clothes. Stand against that wall. All right, get out of here. You want to take some blood work or anything? No, 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 no. We just, we just like to make sure you're flush. Uh, I am trying to, I'm trying to like do things to just make myself healthier. Like I'm cutting back on drinking. Uh, I don't take shots anymore. Uh, you know, because they're for children. You know, they come in those tiny little glasses. <laughs> what is this? Apple juice? It's a spicy apple juice. <laughs> No, I drink adult things now. I drink gin, you know? You can't order that as a shot. You're gonna look like a crazy person going up to the bar and be like, hey, can I get a shot of gin and some tinfoil so the government can't read my thoughts? It's a shot of gin and a tinfoil back for me. I'm here to party. You have to mix it with stuff. You have to have like a gin and juice, gin and tonic, you know? I'm not old enough for a martini yet. Uh, I don't know how old you have to be, but I'm assuming you have to wait until most of your taste buds die. <laughs> Just being like, mmm, dirty mop water and gasoline, this is sophisticated, mmm. Oh, I like music that's only instrumental, yeah, mmm. Well, I read an article and I have an opinion, mmm. Oh, did you hear about this thing? Well, I read an article, uh, I told you, okay. Uh, did you hear about it? No? Okay, let me tell you. <laughs> I was... <laughs> I was at a bar once, and I, uh, I heard a guy order a martini. He was like, hey, let me get a dirty martini, and uh, why don't you go ahead and put some blue cheese olives in there? <laughs> what? Why? What? Like, that, who came up with that drink? Like, a drunk guy just rummaging through his fridge, just going like, oh, you want a cocktail? I can make you one. Uh, here's, here's the thing. I got gin, and then there's some old olive brine in here. And you're like, yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> you're like, I'm gonna put blue, blue cheese in it. You guys want you want a grilled cheese martini? I can make you one of those. It's gonna be good. Uh, so that these are the things I think about when I'm high in my apartment at night. <laughs> Just walk around going a grilled cheese martini. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I, 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 I'm trying to cut down on weed. You guys doing that too? You guys cutting down on weed? Fuck it, no, no, everybody's like, fuck that, dude. Fuck that. <laughs> All I ever want to do when I smoke weed is watch nature documentaries, and I, that's not useful to me. I don't know why my brain's just like, oh, what are these animals up to? They're just out there in the wild? Just no houses? It's, like, the last one I watched, it was on African elephants, uh, and they do a weird thing when they're mating, right? Like, a circle of females will, like, gather around and cheer the couple on. You can get high and look this up. It does happen. You're not going to be able to use this information, but it's there. My like elephants will be like, oh, shit. Hey, hey, Bridget, come here. Is that Donna and Steve? Yeah, it is. It looks like they're about to go at it. Let's, let's get those girls. Let's get over there. And then they all run over, but like slowly because they're elephants. And they're like, yeah. Yeah. Back up into it, Donna. Give it to her, Steve. This is 
safe space. <laughs> Explore each other's body. <laughs> I'm glad we're not like that, you know? Can you imagine every time you're about to have sex, like all of her friends come in the room? It's like, all right, Tiffany, about to, oh, he's done. No, Bridget's staying in the living room, he's done. Yeah, no, it was fast. Yeah, passionate, but fast. All right, that's it for me. You guys are a great crowd. Summers and shout out to these two guys for taking so 